Welcome back to the show. Yeah, your boy DJ Mag holding it down. Laura's on assignment. Milan's on assignment. I'm holding it down by myself. And uh, we're just going to go right to it. We have, uh, usually I would say in the studio or wherever we're filming from, but we're coming out of the elements here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale. And joining me is a beautiful performing artist or recording artist, whatever she wants to call herself. I'm going to ask her in a minute. She goes by the name of La Vie. Hey everybody. How you doing, Lavi? I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. So uh, are you a recording artist or a performing artist or both? I am both. You are both. Yes. I, I don't really know the difference because people say it all the time. Performing artist, so-and-so. Recording artist, so-and-so. But you're both. Absolutely. I mean, if you're recording music, you have to perform it at some point. So you're just an artist. You're, you're, just you're, an, artist. An, you're an entertainer. But you, you know what I'm talking about. Like I, some I people, feel you. they say recording artist, performing artist. Yeah, but it's it's all the same. All the same. So um, checking out your information, um, you, you're 17 years old. What is that one experience that like hits you and say, bam, I want to sing. This is what I want to do. I love it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it rolls off my tongue and the energy that it brings. This is what I want to do. I'm saying that because I read your bio. It says right. 17 years old is when you got your start. What, right. what, what was that thing that hits you hard? I'm going to tell you, though, it was actually at like 14 years old. I did my first talent show. All right. And after the show, I was like, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, you know, being at home growing up, my mother is uh, l loved to listen to music all the time. We used to listen to records all the time. So I've been around music all my life. Right. And then, you know, me and my sister, you know, we were at the house and we we're singing. We we're listening to Whitney. We we're like, hey, I want to <laughs> dance with some, you know, and we're we're pretending we're Whitney. And right. so just to experience that and to feel the love from the audience it was like yeah, yeah. I like this that performing is and doing music is like a push and pull I'm a DJ and just simple act of DJing playing a song that connects with somebody it's you push it out there and then they give it back to you right that energy of the push energy and pull. is wonderful yeah yeah, wonderful. yeah 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 awesome so you were 14 when it hit you yeah right, you I got like, bitten yeah you got and my mom was like no 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 rather. no you got to be a nurse I was like but mommy I don't want to be a nurse she's like okay be a doctor be something I was like, but no, I want to sing. And she was like, very cool, very cool. Um, so, checking out your bio, I mean, um, I'm not going to lie and say that I, I knew of you before the bio. Okay. I, you're, I'm just discovering you, awesome. which is something I love to do. I love discovering new performers, new artists as a DJ. And uh, it said that you performed recently at the um, Jazz in the Gardens. I what, did. What was that about? Let me know. What was. That was amazing. Um, I applied four separate times before this time. I'm sorry, who did you open for? Let me ask you that. I opened for Fred Hammond, Janelle Monae, Babyfa Babyface, oh, um, Brian Colbertson, and Usher. Man, you got you got spots on your resume. Woo! That's awesome. All yeah, right, go ahead, go That ahead. was amazing. But yeah. I applied four times, uh -huh. and I got denied every single time. And I was like, I don't know. So I met up with a friend, um, Valerie Tyson, shout out to her. Um, it wasn't uh, time. Also another artist, and she was like, you need to do it again. You need to apply again. And I was like, you think so? I applied and my application went through. Awesome. It, it wasn't your time, I guess, in the past. Absolutely. It, Needed time it, to it, grow, to it, prepare. It, yeah, it comes sure. organically. Music yeah. comes organically, you know. So um, how much time do we have, Mr. Producer? We, get, we keep it rolling? Okay, so that was an amazing thing, performing in Jazz in the Garden right. in front of thousands of people. I can't even begin to say what that feels like to, as an even as a DJ to play it in front of that many it's people. Amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, so your 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 whole persona that I'm gathering from from your bio, just reading your bio, it has like a I wouldn't say religious undertone, but it has like a spiritual undertone absolutely or, absolutely or overtone <laughs> undertone overtone whatever. And it's not it's not like underhanded. It's kind of blatant that you. Straight up. You're on a spiritual level. Absolutely. It, does that have anything to do with your name, La Vie? La Vie, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So tell me a little about that. I mean, what was, uh, do you, what direction? You know, you've heard of Life Jennings? Yes. And I, I kind of associate your name with, with him because mm -hmm. his music, he does R&B, he does, he's on that old hip hop level, but he's, right. on a, he's on it more like a spiritual level. Of course. Like there's a message in his music. Sure. His message goes out to young girls and just you know he it edifies and mm -hmm. it lifts up people right is that the the route that you want to take with your your vibe your music absolutely so to speak? absolutely um with the name la vie um i that's a strong name yeah you, you're basically carrying the world on your shoulders you're saying yeah. i represent the, the world and you can't represent the world i guess uh 
the way that some people represent the world, like, you know, right. old thug, roughneck type of deal. Or tight up clothes oh, and everything, up, you yeah. know? <laughs> so th that's that's a big undertaking. Yeah. That you, you've you taken upon yourself musically. Yeah. So uh, tell me, why did you decide to go that route? Is okay, so um, at the age of 18, before I had my daughter, hey, Indy. Um, you know what, I, yeah, hold, hold that thought. I'm we have, we have more segments with Lavi, right? Okay, we got, I'm coming back to you. Hold okay. that thought.